what's up you guys I'm Megan and welcome to my channel in our workout video today we're gonna to be doing a yoga flow that is going to focus on opening up through the front of the chest getting our shoulders and our spine a little bit more mobile and get everything moving in the upper body so if you are new to my channel don't forget to like and to subscribe I put out workout videos every Tuesday and then more fun personal style vlogs every Friday just like any other of my workout videos I'm gonna show you all the different modifications as we go along so this should be accessible for all different fitness and flexibility levels because I'm also gonna show you ways to make things a little bit more challenging but as always go at your own pace and breath and see how you're feeling today knowing every day is gonna be a little bit different let's start today's workout by sitting in a place or a position that feels really comfortable so cross-legged always seems like or sometimes it's deemed as a beginner position but it requires a lot of hip mobility flexibility as well as our knees and ankles so if this doesn't feel comfortable Take a seat however feels comfortable. We can have a prop underneath our bum. We can sit on our knees if that feels more comfortable. Or again, something a little bit to prop us up. Whatever you need to do to get your bum heavy on the ground and your shoulders on top of your hips. So we're sitting up nice and tall. Before we even begin moving, let's just check in with our bodies to see how we're feeling. So we're in this seated position, thinking about keeping the right and the left side of the bum heavy. You're pulling the belly button up, almost as if you were lifting up through an elevator. The ribs are stacked on top of the hips, the shoulders draw back, and then the crown of the head is lifting up towards the ceiling, as if we just pulled one vertebrae at a time a little bit taller. Now, as you take a nice deep inhale, you're going to reach the shoulders up towards the ears. And as you exhale, just kind of let them sink nice and heavy. Just a nice side big exhale. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Let's just do that two more times. Create some tension and then just let it all go. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale to reach the shoulders up and a nice big exhale. We're still going to continue to inhale and exhale, but let's just do it through the nose. We're going to take a nice deep inhale to lengthen and as we exhale, let your chin fall to your chest. Let the head be nice and heavy and we're going to roll right ear to right shoulder. Let gravity do its thing, let the head hang there, just like a heavy bowling ball. Now, if this is feeling easy, let's walk those left fingertips away just to intensify that stretch, like we're trying to reach over to the opposite side of the room. But we don't want the bum lifting up, keep that bum nice and heavy. If this still isn't feeling like enough, you can just take that right hand and gently place it on the head. I'm not pulling the head down, I'm just allowing the weight of my arm to do the work. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. One more deep inhale and exhale like that. And we're going to let that go. We're going to lengthen up nice and tall. And then let that left ear find a left shoulder. One side might feel easier than the other. So hang out in any position as long as you need. If this is feeling nice and easy, want a little bit more intensity to that stretch, walk, walk those right fingertips away and feel like you're reaching all the way from the pinky finger to your ear. And then if you want a little bit more, just placing that left hand on top of the head. Again, letting gravity do the work. We're not pulling on the head. Just let the weight of the hand do it. Two more deep breaths here. Can we inhale a sense of space and exhale as if you're removing a layer of tension with every exhale? One more deep inhale and exhale here. And we're ready, we're lengthening the crown up to come up nice and tall. We're gonna place our hands on our knees, whatever position they might be in. As we inhale, we're gonna draw the shoulder blades back and lift the heart up towards the ceiling. And then as we exhale, you're gonna pull the belly button in or round in. So thinking as we inhale, gently use your hands to press against the knees, squeeze the shoulders back, open up through the front of the chest. And then as you exhale, pull the belly button in, allow the shoulders to round forward, it feels like you can look inside the belly button. And then we're getting nice and tall, draw the shoulder blades back, open up through the front of the chest. And then exhale, tuck and round in. Now if we've been doing a lot of work at our computer, sitting a lot more, watching too much Netflix, that rounded position most likely feels a little bit more comfortable or more natural. Where squeezing the shoulder blades and opening up to the front of the chest might feel a little bit more tight. And then we're going to open up one more time and then we're just going to hold here for two extra breaths. 
Think about your squeeze of the tips of the shoulder blades together to help push that heart forward, but we're not popping the ribs so much that we're overarching and putting more tension to the lower back. Feel like you're trying to lift from the upper back as if you could push the heart forward and not just kind of push the belly. And then coming back up nice and tall, let's sweep the feet behind us because we're going to come into a tabletop position. So we're just going to move from our shoulders first in tabletop. It's exactly what it is. We're imagining as if we were four corners or four legs of a table. So our shoulders and wrists are in one long and our knees and our hips are in one long line. As you inhale, you're pushing into the ground to open up the space in between the shoulders. And as we exhale, let's squeeze those shoulder blades together. I'm not bending my elbows, I'm just protracting and retracting our shoulders. There's a soft bend to the elbows, they're not locked out of our joints, especially if, like me, you have a tendency to hyperextend. I always think the joints are soft, so we're engaging all the muscles around the joints. So as we inhale and push away, think about you're creating space and separating the shoulder blades, and as we exhale, we're squeezing and drawing the shoulder blades together and opening up to the front of the chest. Like I said, one direction might feel easier than the other. Let's just see how the shoulders are moving and feeling today. And then you're gonna find somewhere in between those two extreme actions. We're gonna take our right hand towards the center of our chest, and I really want you to keep your chin in line with that hand. Equal weight of both knees, and take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna to rotate towards the right. Inhale while you're there, and then exhale to come back. Notice how I'm not shifting from my hips. I want you to feel like you're twisting only from the belly button up, and we're not letting the eyes lead the body, keep your chin in line with your chest, so we're just focusing on really trying to get more range of motion through the upper back. I'm gonna do one more like this. Exhale, feel like you're squeezing the right shoulder blade to meet the left, and then we're gonna come back to center. You can tuck the toes under a little bit, we're gonna sit the bum further back. So you're gonna walk that hand a little bit further back to the left, so it's still in line with your left shoulder. Now, if it feels comfortable, we're going to take the hand behind the head, which might be a lot of range of motion, so we can still keep it crossed in front of the chest. So now as we inhale, we're going to fold and round in, and then as you exhale again, pull the belly button and twist open towards the right. Now since our bum is a little bit further back, you're only going to twist so far. It's going to do a good job at helping you stabilize from those hips. So the range of motion, we're not trying to twist so far that we're shifting from the hips, but can you pull the belly button in and more so feel like you're trying to squeeze the right shoulder blade towards the left. We're gonna do three more. Think about placing weight in that right knee so we're not twisting up so much that that leg lifts anywhere. I think everything's nice and heavy. One more, inhale, round through the upper back, and as you exhale, open through the front of the chest, squeeze that right shoulder blade on the back. Perfect, and then we're gonna bring those hands back down to center, bring those hips back on top of the knees. Now let's take our left hand towards the side of the chest. We take it as you inhale, as we exhale, rotate towards the left. Inhale while you're there, and then exhale to come back. And we're gonna do four more, just like that. I'm pushing energy into that right hand as I push down, I'm squeezing that left shoulder towards the right. You might be able to twist and rotate a lot more to one side than the other. Perfectly normal. One more with the hand towards the center of the chest with our knees here. And then we're gonna tuck those toes under again if that feels comfortable, shifting the knees back slightly. You can always reposition that right hand. Hand come behind the head or across the front of the chest. Now as we inhale, again, I want you to feel like you're pulling the belly button into round. And then as you exhale, we're drawing the shoulders back, open up to the front of the chest. Inhale, scoop it around. Exhale, open. So think we're closing off the front of the chest, opening up the back of the body as we round in, and then we're opening up to the front of the chest, closing the space on the back as we squeeze the shoulder blades together. Make sure to pull the core and engage it so we're not just twisting from the lower back, but we're twisting using those abdominals to protect the lower back. One more like this. Good, then coming all the way back, we're gonna come into that tabletop and do a full cat-cow, so shoulders are back on top of our wrists, Hips on top of our knees. We're going to do a progressive cat cow. So we're going to start with our tail. And take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, you're going to tuck your tail, pull the belly button in around one vertebrae at a time. Allow the head to hang heavy. Inhale into the back space of the body. As you exhale, you're going to untuck the tail, pull the belly button in, glide the shoulders back, open up to the front of the chest. Inhale while you're here. And then as you exhale, tuck, scoop, and around. 
Inhale, breathe space into the back space of that rib cage, and as you exhale, untuck the tail, pull the belly button, glide the heart forward. We're gonna do two more, and as you move through the spine, really notice how it's feeling. We're trying to move one vertebrae at a time, so move with intention. You're untucking the tail to move the hips, pull the belly button to engage the core, and then draw the shoulders back to help open up through the front of the chest. And then we're gonna come in between those two extreme actions, so back to a neutral spine position. Let's tuck those toes under, push the energy with your hands, so you can lift those hips back into a downward facing dog. Let's bend that right leg, send that left heel down, just take a nice little stretch, give the head a bit of a nod, yes and no. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale into the back of that hamstring, and then we'll bend that left knee, send that right heel down. We're going to come back into our downward facing dog. And thinking in our downward facing dog, there's a soft bend to these. We want to be locked out of our joints. But I'm also pushing energy into my hands, but allow the shoulder blades to slide down. So again, the neck should always be able to move. On your next inhale, we're going to soften the knees, looking forward in between your hands, and we're going to walk to the front of our mat. Inhaling, hands to shins to halfway lift. And then exhale to forward fold. Take a nice deep inhale to root down, reach up nice and tall, and as we exhale, let's bring those hands back down, heart center. So we're gonna inhale to sweep those arms up. As we exhale, let's fold over our knees. Inhaling into a halfway lift, and then exhale, bend the knees to allow the hands to find the ground. We're gonna walk back into our downward facing dog and breathe. We're gonna go through one little flow just to warm up, so always yogi's choice. You can hang out here, take a child's pose, or on that next inhale, we're gonna come all the way to a high plank. Shoulders on top of wrists, we can stay here, bring the knees down, and then we're gonna lower by drawing those elbows in towards our sides. Draw the shoulders back, open up through the front of the chest. Press it into the hands, pull the belly button, send those hips back into a downward facing dog, and breathe. Left foot stays heavy as we sweep that right leg up towards the ceiling, looking in between our hands, a nice big exhale, step that right foot through, let's bring the left knee down and tuck the toes. We're just going to hold here for two deep breaths. Let that left hip hang heavy. Now we're going to interlace our hands to lift the chest up off the thigh, so we're nice and long. We're going to interlace the hands behind our back if we can't get our hands towards each other. We can just reach behind us, but if we have access, we're gonna interlace those hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up to the front of that chest. Breathe space into the front of the body. Shoulders are down out of our ears. One more deep inhale and exhale here, and then we're gonna bring our hands down. The back foot can stand here. We're gonna tuck those toes, press that heel to straighten the back leg. Left hand underneath left shoulder, we're gonna to twist open towards the right. Still pushing into that left hand so don't sink into that left shoulder, and open up to the front of the chest. Thinking all we're trying to do in this flow is squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up to the front of the chest, and move through the spine. One more deep inhale here, then when you're ready, let's frame the foot with our hand, press and lift the right foot to meet the left foot. As always, you can hang up here, take a child's pose, or take that next inhale to your high plank, shoulders on top of wrists. As we exhale, lower by bringing the ground towards you. Inhale, draw the shoulders back, open up to the front of the chest. Press from the hands, lift the hips back into your downward facing dog and breathe. Right foot stays heavy as we sweep that left leg up. Nice big exhale, step it through the hands. We'll bring that right knee down and tuck the toe. Let's just hold here for three deep breaths. Allowing that right hip to sink forward as if you could draw the left hip back and wrap the right hip forward. We're gonna interlace our hands, help we'll lift our chest up off the thigh, keeping that tail tucked under. We're gonna reach behind us again. We might have the hands, we might not. If we can, we're going to interlock those hands and feel like you're reaching the knuckles back. Open up. Breathe space into the areas that feel tight, and as you exhale, remove that tension. Allow your body to know that it's okay to let go of the tension by breathing. Don't hold your breath here.
One more deep inhale and exhale, but only when you're ready. We're going to frame our foot with our hands. The back knee can stay down or we lift it up. Right hand stays underneath right shoulder and we twist open towards the left. Double check that that left knee is right in line with the toes. It wants to open, but can we keep those hips nice and in line as we twist from the upper body? One more deep inhale to lengthen as we exhale, frame the foot with our hands, press and lift the left foot to meet the right foot. Hanging out here, taking a child's pose, or we take that next inhale into our high plank, shoulders on top of wrists. Knees can come down or we lower down as one long line as our elbows graze our sides. Open up from the front of the chest as we come up into our upward facing dog. Press energy to the hands, pull the hips back into your downward facing dog and breathe. From here we're going to bring our knees down and come all the way onto our bellies. I want you to have your elbows in line with your shoulders. And we're going to let our right ear find the ground. So right ear is nice and heavy. Legs can be hip distance apart. They can be right together. Honestly, whatever position allows your lower back to feel nice and long. We're going to lift our left elbow up towards the ceiling and then slide that left hand so it's back underneath your left elbow. So we're back to that nice 90 degrees. Keeping your right arm nice and heavy on the ground. We're going to take a nice deep inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to roll over onto that right side. Then you're going to walk those fingertips back so they're a little bit closer towards you. So we're stretching out the right side of the chest, the front of the body. So this might feel like enough. If it doesn't, you can step that left leg back only really if it touches the ground. We don't want it kind of flailing around. It'll be harder to hold up. If you can have access, you can bring that leg all the way down towards the ground. That'll intensify the stretch. We'll bring a little bit more weight to that side. Now, if that's still not enough, really feel like you're pushing that arm into the ground, like you're going to push this floor all the way downstairs. Breathe into the front of the chest. Let your head be heavy. Everything else is nice and relaxed. Inhale, space into the front of the body. And again, as you exhale, just let go of all that tension. One more deep inhale and exhale here, and then we're going to come back to center. So rolling back onto our bellies, let that left arm come down back into your kind of cactus 90 degree position. And now we're going to let that left ear find the floor. You're going to pick up your right elbow, so it points towards the ceiling, and then slide that right hand so it's back underneath your right elbow. That left arm is going to stay right where it is. We're going to take a nice deep inhale. As we exhale, we roll onto our left side. You can walk those right fingertips closer, and then that Right, or sorry, left elbow is nice and heavy as if you're pushing to the ground. This might be enough, or we can step that left, sorry, right foot behind you if it can find the ground. If it can't, honestly, we don't want it, again, flailing around up there. If you can find the ground, great. If not, just stack that one leg back on top of the other. You feel like you're squeezing the right shoulder blade to meet the left on the back of the body, like you're trying to hug something right in between those shoulders. If you want more, feel like you're pushing the left hand into the ground or the left arm into the ground. One more deep inhale and exhale here, and then when you're ready, we're going to come all the way back onto our bellies. Let the forehead just find the floor. Let's bend the knee. Just kind of windshield wiper them back and forth. Let's make sure there's no tension hiding in the lower back. We have one more exercise here on our bellies, and then we're going to flip over onto our backs. So our leg position, again, they can be right together a little bit further apart, but it feels best in the lower back. Our legs are going to be engaged. You're going to draw your elbows so that they're in line with your shoulders. And for now, they're going to find the ground. First, we're going to let our forehead just hang nice and heavy. And if it feels good, then we'll hover it off the ground. So our thumbs are in line with our shoulders. We're going to hover the elbows off the ground. We're going to inhale to reach the arms overhead. They might cross. They might not. And as you exhale, we squeeze those elbows back as we can draw them into the back of the body. We inhale, cross the opposite arm over. And then exhale, squeeze back. Now, this might feel like enough. Or we're going to add a bit of a hover. So as we inhale and reach the arms over, we then exhale, squeeze the elbows back, 
hover the upper body. Inhale, almost like you're diving back into the water. And then use that drawback, squeezing the tips of the shoulder blades, open up through the front of the chest, dive back into the water. Now we don't want to be feeling this in our lower back. So you're trying to keep the bum engaged, the core is engaged, and those hips are heavy. If we start to feel this in the neck or the lower back, take out that hover, or again, take a moment, shake it off. You want to strengthen the areas that feel weaker and loosen the areas that feel tight to help open up the chest, move through the shoulders, strengthen the back. We're going to do two more. We inhale to dive down. We exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades on our back. Last one. Inhale to dive down. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades on our back. And then come back down, let those elbows come nice and wide again. Just kind of bend the knees, windshield wiper them. Once more, making sure there's no tension in the lower back. From here, we're gonna come all the way down onto our back. So lay down onto your back. The knees are gonna be bent. Feet are about hip distance apart. We're gonna do a progressive bridge, but we're gonna add in some upper body and some movement from the shoulders. So our hands are gonna be stacked on top of the shoulders and the wrists and palms are gonna face our knees. Heels are nice and heavy. We're going to take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, you're going to scoop the belly button to draw the hips towards the knees. And you're going to peel up through that spine one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the top of your bridge. And then as you exhale, soften through the upper back, the mid back, the lower back. Bum finds the ground and we reset. So almost like when we did our cat cow, peel up one vertebrae at a time. Drive through the heels, squeeze the bum, we'll lift the hips. Inhale into your bridge. And then as you exhale, peel back down. We're gonna do two more and then we're gonna add in the arms. So the arms are just reaching up towards the ceiling. We take it away an element of stability by not having them down on the ground. So it feels super unstable, but you can always bring them back down. Feel like you're plugging the shoulder blades back down. We'll take one more nice deep inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna tuck and roll up. Inhale at the top, and then as you exhale, peel back down. Now we're gonna keep that nice controlled peel up and down, but this time as we peel up, we're gonna reach those fingertips down towards a hover. Feel like you're trying to reach towards your heels or your toes. Inhale at the top of your bridge, and then as you exhale, arms and hips are moving in opposition. But we're still trying to peel up and down. And really feel like you're trying to reach those fingertips away, so we're keeping those shoulders out of the ears. Do three more, own pace, own breath. Notice if the spine wants to move one way or the other. Can we keep everything as even and as smooth as possible? And this really might depend on the day. We're gonna do one more, reaching those fingertips like you could touch your heels, and then peel back down. Once the bum finds the ground, flip the wrists so they point towards each other, and then just open the arms nice and wide. We're going to stack the knees right on top of the hips, glue those inner thighs towards each other. Now keeping those elbows and arm, keeping the arms heavy on the ground, we're going to take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, let the knees fall all the way over towards the right and find the ground. Even if that means that right shoulder comes up, fine. Let's restack that right hand, draw that shoulder blade down, and then open up that arm. It might find the ground, it might not. But holding your arm up a little bit off the ground is easier than trying to keep your knees up. So let the knees find each other, and while we're here, double check, look at the knees. Did that right knee shift too far back on top of that left knee, or can we shift that right hip back so our knees are stacked one on top of the other? And then we're just gonna hold here and breathe in this twist. Inhale, space in the front of the right side of your chest, and as you exhale, can we get that right shoulder a little bit closer towards the ground? If it feels okay, as always, you can look off in the opposite direction of your knees. One more deep inhale here, and then as we exhale, we're going to press energy to your hands, pull the belly button in, draw the knees back in towards the center of the chest, and then we're going to let the knees fall all the way over towards the right side again. That left shoulder might come up, perfectly fine. Now double check, is that left knee further behind than the right? If it is, shift that knee so the hips are stacked. We're going to restack that left arm, we're going to open up nice and wide, if it touches the ground, great. If not, that's where we're going to hold it. Again, let's keep the knees on the ground, stacked one on top of the other, and then we're working on opening up the chest to get that arm to the ground if it's not already. 
So inhale in there, and then exhale, breathe. Right into the front of the chest, thinking if we are at the computer in our desk a lot, the chest is gonna be tight because our arms are always reaching and rounding forward. So let's hold this stretch. And we can hold it as long as we need, especially if one side is feeling easier than the other. Breathe space into the body. Exhale, tension. One more deep inhale here, and then when you're ready, as you exhale, press the hands around, pull the belly button in, draw the knees back to center, give those legs a nice big hug, and then we're going to rock ourselves all the way back up towards a seated position, whichever one feels the most comfortable, letting the bum be heavy, letting our shoulders be nice and tall, and we're going to finish off just like where we started. So take a nice deep inhale, let the shoulders lift up towards the ears, and as you exhale, just kind of let that go. Inhale to draw everything up, a nice big sigh and let it go. One more inhale, create as much tension as we can, and then exhale to let that go. And that, you guys, was just a little mini series to get the body moving, but really focusing on opening up through the front of the chest mobilizing the shoulders and the spine a little bit more. So I'm hoping you guys are feeling a little bit taller and a little bit more open than when you started. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any specific workout requests or yoga videos or specific poses that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you need something explained that you didn't feel I explained enough, again, leave it in the comment section down below. Anyways, you guys, have an amazing rest of your day and week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.